San Francisco's monkeypox public health emergency goes into effect to address the growing outbreak there. And over the weekend, New York City became the second major U.S. city to declare a public health emergency. Now, there is some concern that the U.S. lost its best chance to contain the outbreak. There are more than 5,000 confirmed cases in the U.S., more than 22,000 worldwide. Joining us now, emergency physician Dr. Lena Wen. She's also the former Baltimore Health Commissioner and a CNN medical analyst. Uh, Dr. Wen, good, good to have you on. So it seems the, the criticism here is that the initial approach was to focus on close contacts of people known to be infected as opposed to something a bit more broadly, th those at most risk. And I wonder, in your view, was that a mistake? And is it too late to change that approach? I think the biggest mistake was not having enough testing initially. The mm. entire goal here was to identify individuals who have monkeypox. If we were able to find everyone who had monkeypox, then we are able to identify all their contacts. Um, monkeypox is very different from COVID. It's spread through direct prolonged contact. Also, we know that if people get the vaccine early on in their exposure, that actually prevents them from getting monkeypox, and therefore that stops the chain of transmission. So we had an opportunity when they were relatively few cases to find everyone who had monkeypox, identify their contacts known as ring vaccination, vaccinate all their contacts, stop further transmission from occurring. The problem now is that because we didn't have enough testing to begin with, there are so many more cases that we don't even know about. That's why we have to resort to vaccinating a much larger number of people, but we don't have enough vaccines for all those individuals. So I do fear that the window for containment is closing. Certainly we had a much better opportunity months ago than we do now. So closing but not lost, do you, do you think that with a course correct now, uh, cities like San Francisco, New York, but more broadly, can, can get this under control? I think there is still a very small window for us to do that. And I do think it's time for the U.S. to declare a state of emergency as well, because that will allow for a much better coordinated response. It allowed the Biden administration to appoint a monkeypox czar to oversee these efforts. It will also allow for more resources to be put into this as well. I hope that the window hasn't closed. I think that there is still an opportunity. And just to underscore why this is the case, monkeypox may not be as fatal as a lot of other illnesses, but we we don't want another disease that we have to worry about in perpetuity if it takes hold here. Also, we don't want it to affect the most vulnerable, including young children and pregnant women. That hasn't really happened as much yet here in the U.S., but we want to contain it before that happens. Okay, another topic. Uh, President Biden tested positive again for COVID after being negative following treatment.